Hi guys, it's Santa Mojo, and today's video is going to be a story that I've been meaning to tell you guys since I literally have started YouTube, like the beginning of my motherfucking YouTube channel when I was in my parents' motherfucking house with that nasty ass door. If you have been here since that nasty ass door, that was always my top comment, like your door is so dirty. <laughs> and you guys might be familiar with my I catfished a guy video. This story I originally filmed to go in like a, a two part story with that story, and then that story ended up being too long, so I just never ever told it again. I kind of pushed it off and forgot about it, but this story is so fucking epic, and I'm excited as fuck to tell it to you today. Basically, the story is about the time that I got my principal fired because she was a dumb fucking prejudiced cunt, and I was in fifth grade. <laughs> so yeah, let's get into it, but before we do that, make sure to subscribe. Just click that button below. It would mean so much to me. We have an amazing family, and I'm always putting out new videos. Okay. So my whole life I've always been a really really girly girl like I wore a bra so young and I wanted to wear makeup so young And I wanted to like flat iron my hair so young and like I loved wearing pink and I loved wearing jewelry And I was just always that girl I still honestly really am such a girly girl at heart in fifth grade I had just hit my like I want to wear makeup face and I decided that for Christmas like as my big present I really really wanted like a giant makeup kit and, like my parents at first were saying no But I begged them and begged them for weeks and it was like all I wanted and I was so like passionate about it You know what I mean? So that that's what I asked for for my parents and I was so excited to open it on Christmas morning It was basically just so much like eyeshadow from like Claire's and Ulta and all these like different makeup palettes with like glittery lip glosses and everything But everything for the most part was pretty much sheer and natural because my parents didn't want me to look like a baby hooker You know, you know except for this one eyeshadow palette and immediately within opening it It was my favorite eyeshadow palette It was like this little tiny smoky eye like lookbook thing from Claire's that had these like gray and black shadows shadows in it and I wore this thing every single day I was so obsessed with it and not to like eat my own ass but it really didn't look that bad you know like I, it wasn't like all over it wasn't like black like I was like class a eyeshadow bitch okay so finally the first day back from school after winter break had rolled around and I was so fucking excited to debut my winter fucking vogue spring eyeshadow look in fifth grade and fucking slay these hoes so I went to school mr. Tanetti's fifth grade class Shout out if you know that teacher. I've told the story time about him. He was a fucking bitch. Everyone at this school was a fucking bitch. So about three hours into the day, the principal came into my classroom. And this was a common practice. The principal would kind of walk around and walk into every class and they check on people and like pretend like she was actually fucking doing something. You know, you know. Her name was Sharon Garhart. And before I get into the story, I want to talk a little bit of fucking shit about this bitch. She was the definition of one of those school administrators that like hated children and like hated her life and was so negative and so unhappy and so rude. Like you'd be like, hi Miss Garhart, and she'd be like, hi. And not to like get all ranty for a second, but I really don't fucking understand why school administrators choose to be school administrators, why they choose to be teachers, why they choose to be nurses, why they choose to be lunch ladies, why they choose to be fucking janitors, why they choose to be anything around children if they are like a negative children hating ass motherfucker. Like why do you want to make kids hate going to school? Like for the next 13 years they're going to have to spend every single fucking day in a classroom and you want to like precondition them at a young age to like hate school? Like you're a piece of shit. You're an asshole. Especially teachers that are so rude to like third, fourth, fifth graders. Like what the fuck? And I understand if it's like the kids like bad but if you're just like a fucking cunt to like 12 year olds, to like 8 year olds? Like what happened to you? Like why did you choose to do this for a living? And don't get me wrong, I fucking hate kids. Kids are fucking draining. I totally understand why those people hate kids, but like why would you choose that job if you hate kids? And so Sharon Garhart was the unhappiest, most negative, angry fucking principal of life. Like you know in movies when there's like an angry ass principal or an angry ass teacher and it's like way over dramatized and they're like so mean? Like that's like literally how she was in real life, you know? And she was also like that principal that obviously had nothing to do. Like would yell at you for like, like looking at the ground while like a teacher was talking. Or like if your lunch didn't have enough nutritious stuff in it, like RPCU. Like she was like genuinely like, was so bored that she just like was a cunt. But like same, you know? <laughs> so she walks into my class and literally immediately her eyes just like fucking laser beam devil Satan to me. And she goes, Tana Mojo, like stand up, go, I need to talk to you outside, blah, blah, blah. Like embarrasses me in front of the whole class for no reason. And I'm like totally expecting this to be like a valid reason. Cause I was, like I was a punk ass kid, you know what I mean? Like there was so many things she could have actually gotten me in trouble for, but like this is what she was mad about. She comes outside, 
she posts me outside and she's like, don't wear that makeup to school again. I'm like, I'm like devastated. And so I'm like, why? And she's like, it's just too much. It's so distracting. And I'm like, it's like silver eyeshadow across my eyelid. Like, who is it distracting? And she's like, the boys. Like, you're distracting the little boys. Like, you don't need to be wearing stuff to attract boys at such a young age. And literally, even then, I was such a fuck gender roles ass bitch that I was like, I don't wear this for boys. You can like eat my ass. Like, obviously, I didn't say that, but I mean, like, I was like, I'm not wearing this for boys. I'm wearing this because it makes me happy. Like, why can't I wear it, you know? And she was like, don't wear it to school again. Go wash it off. So she made me go wash it off in the bathroom with water. First of all, water does not remove eyeshadow. So I just look like a fucking raccoon all day. Thanks, Sharon. So I go back to class, and all day I'm so sad. Like, I, and it distracted me from doing my work. Like, great principle. 10 out of fucking 10. And I go home, and I'm bawling my eyes out. And my mom's like, why are you crying? And I'm like, Miss Garhart told me I couldn't wear my makeup. And my mom, being the clutch-ass bitch that she was at the, in this time, helped me look up the CCSD dress code. And we looked through the dress code, and it said nowhere that, like, we could not wear makeup. And so my mom was like, there's nowhere that it says you can't wear makeup. She just, like, said that to you. You can wear it the next day. Like, I'll back you up. So I woke up the next day, and I took my motherfucking sponge tip eyeshadow applicator, Sharon, and I fucking smeared that bitch on my face. Extra tough. Extra packed. I fucking patted that bitch on. It was so pigmented. And I walked my happy ass into school. And so the second I sit down, Mr. Tanetti looks at me, and he's like, you better wash that off, or Miss Garhart's gonna be mad at you again. And I look at him and I'm like, I don't care. And so he's like, okay. And he went back to being the stupid cunt ass teacher that he was. And so like an hour later, Ms. Garhart walks in. And I'm assuming Mr. Tanetti called her and they were like in cahoots. Like, I think they fucked, honestly. But that's another video. So she looks at me and this woman literally fills with rage. Like the way she filled with rage was so fucking terrifying because it was literally over eyeshadow. Like, are you okay? She fills with fucking rage. And she starts screaming at me in front of my entire class. The whole class is like, and I'm just like, and she's yelling at me and she's like, she's like, your eyeshadow looks terrible. You're wearing this to attract boys. I can't believe this. If I had a daughter, I would never let her wear this. You need to wash it off. Like you're only 10 years old. I don't know how old I was. I'm assuming I was fucking 10. I don't know. How old are you in fifth grade? And so I was like, I'm not going to wash it off. It doesn't say anywhere in the dress code that I have to take it off, ma'am. I'm really sorry, but like, you're just mad. Like you're making up that rule, which was a little bold and a little brave. And I was kind of a stubborn asshole, but like, you can't just make up a rule. And like the fact that her reasoning was like, you're doing this to attract boys is such a fucked up thing to condition girls at a young age like you wear makeup because it makes you happy not because of boys like that's just like that's not okay you know so then in that moment she writes me an RPC slip and she's like we're gonna have to have an RPC with your parents like yelling that in front of the whole class like trying to fucking intimidate me and make me look like a little piece of shit in fucking school and make everybody else think that I was gonna get my ass beat later by my parents when I fucking wasn't Sharon I'm having head pains <laughs> So I sat there with my pretty ass eyeshadow on. So I went over from school, I brought my RPC slip to my parents, and my mom was honestly very upset. So were both of my parents, because especially just the way that Sharon was like handling it, like to tell a young girl, like I said, like that you're wearing it for boys, like that's not okay, you know? So we printed out all the CCSD rule papers or whatever, and we go into the RPC the next day. So we're sitting there, my mom, my dad, the principal, and the vice principal, and she's just going on and on and on, basically saying like how I shouldn't be wearing something to attract boys, and they're like, I'm gonna grow up to be like a bad influence, hinting around the fact like, but not saying it, that I'm gonna grow up to be a hoe, if I like, which I mean true, <laughs> I'm just kidding, if I like keep wearing makeup, and that I shouldn't be doing this for boys, and that like boys are gonna get like horny, basically, like literally this was like her point, you know, and the vice principal was literally sitting there like backing her up, which is so fucked up, like now that I think about it, and so my mom presents the CCSD dress code to her, and it's like where in this does it say that she can't wear makeup, and the principal's like, it doesn't say it in there, like I'm making this rule, she's not allowed and my mom's like, you can't do that. And so the principal's like, okay, well then Tana doesn't have to go to our school. Like, she's expelled. And that's when my parents were like, oh hell no. Oh, oh. First of all, you cannot fucking expel me for wearing eyeshadow. Second of all, there's no rule that says, like, if you wear eyeshadow, you get expelled. Even if you violate the dress code every day, they don't expel you. Like, she literally just tried to scare us like that. So thankfully, my dad was decent friends with the head of the CCSD school board, which is awesome. And I forget his name, but he's a really, really nice man. So we go home that day, and my dad calls that of the CCSD school board and explains all of this situation to him or whatever. That of the school board is like incredibly enraged and is saying like this is 
not okay. Like, I can't believe they would say that to your daughter. Like, she can wear eyeshadow if she wants to. She just can't, like, fucking paint her whole face. But, like, if it's, like, normal makeup, like, that's totally fine. And so the head of the school board calls for another meeting with him, the principal, the vice principal, my mom, my dad, and me. So three days go by. I lounge at home with my expelled ass. I fucking make some motherfucking milkshake, sit on the motherfucking couch, and watch some, like, cartoons because I was expelled. I was a fifth grade dropout. <laughs> and then we finally go to this meeting. And Miss Gerhardt's entire demeanor had changed. She went from a motherfucking scary ass, barking ass pit bull to a fucking frightened in its tracks chihuahua because her boss was there now and she couldn't be a fucking flaming cunt anymore. But she was still standing her ground. She was basically saying like, you can't wear makeup because it attracts boys, da 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 da. The head of the school board basically lets her say her whole point and then is like, so why did you expel her? And then she was like, because she kept wanting to wear her eyeshadow and look like that. And I was like, look like what? And she was like, you look like a harlot. Whatever the fuck that means, first of all. And second of all, the fact this bitch honestly thought she could call me a fucking harlot? Like, I was in fifth grade. Like, what do you mean? Mean, you fucking cunt. You fucking stupid fucking old ass hag ass witch ass cunt. Like that is a not okay. Like you just called the fifth grader a harlot because she wanted to wear eyeshadow. I'm so mad. This is one of those stories that genuinely like, gets me enraged. And so then she's like, so yeah, I'm proposing for it to be a new rule that students can't wear eyeshadow because we don't want to distract boys. Blah, 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 blah. And I think that she was expecting at this point for the head of the school board, the superintendent to like back her up. And he literally looks at her and he's like, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to let you go. I have never wanted to just fucking cackle at a bitch so loud in my entire life because it was the ultimate GF. Good fight, nub. Get the fuck up out this office, bitch. I'm the motherfucking principal now. Call me Miss Mojo. It's now mandatory for you to have a smoky eye and a motherfucking wing every damn day, bitch. This woman tears up and she's like, no, it's it's okay. Like, I'm sorry. She can wear the eyeshadow. I overreacted. And he's like, I'm sorry, but I just think that I've seen your true colors now and that you don't deserve this job anymore. I'd like you to leave. And as she's leaving, <laughs> my fifth grade smart ass decided that it was intelligent to look at her in this moment and go, <laughs> this is the most smart Alex smart ass thing I think I've ever said. I go, I've always hated you, Sharon. <laughs> Sharon. Sharon. <laughs> Fucking Sharon. Please keep in mind that my entire elementary school career, I had to refer to her as Miss Garhart or I was in trouble. And I don't even think she knew that I knew her first name. And I look at her and I go, I've always hated you, Sharon. Every time I think about that, I fucking die. The head of the school board let the vice principal take over as principal for the rest of the year. And it was known in the entire school that the vice principal was the principal because of me. <laughs> and I wore my silver ass eyeshadow every single day for the rest of fifth grade because fuck a fucking unfeminist ass, cunt ass, you wear eyeshadow to make little fifth grade boys dicks hard ass bitch. She's the same bitch that thinks like your shoulders make, it, make a guy's dick hard. <laughs> Fuck you, Ms. Garhart. Fuck you, Sharon. I've always hated you, Sharon. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this story because I really, really enjoyed telling this. It's still just everything I stand for and I hella hated that bitch. Make sure to subscribe. Follow all my social media and my vlog channel below. Check out my merch. I'm about to release some dope ass shit. I love you so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.